Guys, it's time to go drive the brand new CJ7 by Axial, the Renegade. I'm gonna show it to you real quick on the table and go for a drive. This could be epic. Let's go. That thing is awesome. Let's get a quick peek into this thing. Look at these injection molded doors, abrasion resistance, they slide well. Look at all this. It's got foot pedals, check that out. Look at the steering wheel, everything, the dash layout, all your shifters, all of that. You got the grab handles when you get in and out of this thing, all of it. The body is a licensed Jeep CJ7 Renegade. Beautiful work. Tires are licensed Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. Yeah, in the R35 compound. The wheels are also licensed Raceline Daytonas, and they are legit real beadlocks. The motor, transmission, and dig unit are pretty much standard SCX 10.3. So, yeah, that's a proven design at this point. The AR45 straight axle, nice, tried, and true. You can over it and underdrive it with the ring and pinions and get all that stuff done. Threaded body shocks. So you can adjust those all you need. Licensed Genrite bumpers, front and rear and sliders and four link suspension. Yep, there is a bolt on kit for your CJ7. The ESE and receiver are integrated. There's only one piece right here. It's good for about 40 amps. There's your dig servo right there and your motor is a 35 turn 540 motor. Check this thing out. Doesn't it look so real? I mean like legit. Man, this thing, stock ESC, nice and quiet. Downhill is a little bit free. Let's try some of that drag brake right here. I am not wanting to roll this thing right here. And this right here is known for rolling some vehicles. Not, not, not this time. Nice. I think these R35 tires are gonna be just fine on this one as well. Oh, ho, ho. nice. It is mildly fast. The cleanest mud hole in the world. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
and that was my first drive. Now, it was kind of at dusk, okay? So, I uh, kind of got to see the lights a little bit better like that, but I'm going to get back out and drive it again. I got another new area, like dirt, grass, and stuff like that, but I'm going to get out and do that a little bit later. But um, the first drive, absolutely awesome. Um, the downhill control is, they kind of, they don't quite have it at the level of a 1080 yet, ESC yet. I'm going to have mine as a 1080 ESC on this. Try it with the stock motor. Probably swap the, I'm not going to go crazy with this one, okay? It's going to stay pretty much mildly stock driving. I'm going to keep this thing close to factory. We'll see how that lasts. But anyways, the first drive, absolutely awesome. The scale appearance of it is amazing. I'm, I'm expecting some nice pictures from you guys. I want to see pictures of you guys post this thing up like in different areas, post it up for figurines and all that to make it look like a real Jeep because I think you can actually make that happen. From from a distance, you know, you kind of get the angle. You can Those will look like coilovers. They are coilovers, but they'll look like legit scale coilovers. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I drove it a little bit easy because it was a first drive, but it's going to get crazier. Guys, check that description. I'll link it up down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe, ring that bell. And I want you all to have an absolute fantastic day. And this time, when was the last time you had strawberry shortcake? Yeah. Have a great one. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.